Sangeeta Vigil, working as an assistant professor in Vivekananda College of Engineering and Technology, Puttu, in the Department of Physics. Today, we'll be studying about the experiment, that is, we have a precision rectifier experiment. In that, we'll be studying about a half-wave precision rectifier. So, what is actually a rectifier is, it will convert the AC to pulsating DC, so that we'll get a proper output. So same as this precision rectifier, it will take the values that are in terms or in the range of 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, all these range will be rectified and you will get the pulsating DC output. So in order to do this experiment, first we need an OPAM that is using an operational amplifier and the resistors that is one is the feedback resistor, another one is the input resistor, another one which is connected to the third pin of your OPAM. So initially gave the input as 0.3 volt peak to peak with a frequency that is 1 kilohertz. You have used a diode that is two diodes V1 and V2. So do the connection. So initially when you do the connection, keep the input in terms of input should be in AC and output should be in DC. And whereas since we are measuring the transfer characteristics in this experiment, the main thing you should remember is channel 1 should be given the input that is in AC and channel 2 should be given to output that is DC. So these are the two important things which you re should remember while doing this experiment. Keep the input in AC, output in DC and in order to measure the transfer characteristics, channel 1 should be always connected to input and channel 2 should be connected to output that is it should be kept in DC. So we will study what is the operation of this experiment first. So you can see it is a inverting amplifier that means if you give an input as a normal sinusoidal wave the output which you get across this op-amp is an inverted one. So you will get the inverted waveform. So initially I will be giving a positive supply. So give a positive signal. So that is the first one. So when you give the positive signal since the op-amp is a non-inverted, sorry, inverting amplifier, so what happens is diode D1 will be forward bias because of the positive supply, whereas the diode D2 output across operational amplifier that is inverting op-amp, you get is a negative. That means if I give a positive signal, the output across the op-amp is a negative signal. But since the diode D2 is forward bias condition that is plus, so this is negative, so D2 will be reverse bias. So what happens is across the output that is V0 will be 0 volt. So whenever you give a positive supply, the output across the operational amplifier is the negative, so that D2 will become reverse bias, so the output across the or the sixth pin diode across the diode you get is a zero volt. So now take the second condition that is giving the a negative input or the negative supply. So the op-amp is a non-inverting op-amp. So what happens is the output which you give will be a positive. So here what happens is diode D1 will be reverse bias, but this has no problem with respect to the input whereas D2 will be a forward bias. So there is an output available across V0. So how do you calculate it is, you use the non-inverting op-amp formula that is you have a feedback resistor, RF you have the R1 value minus RF by R1 into the input voltage that is VE. So you can see in the design, I'll choose the RF as well as RN which is equal to 1, that is RF is the feedback, R1 is the input resistor. So both will be equal to 1 which will indicate that slope is 1. So VI, anything you can consider, either 1 volt peak to peak or 0 0.3 volt peak to peak. So, so take it as 1 volt peak to peak, so RF by R1 since I am considering as 1 kilo ohm, it will be minus 1 into 1 volt peak to peak, so you will get the answer that is 1 volt. So for 1 volt peak to peak, the output which you get is minus 1 volt is the answer. That means if I show it in the diagram or the waveform which you plot, 
0.3 volts volt is the peak to peak. Positive supply, you are getting V0 as 0 volt. Whereas for the negative supply, we are getting V0 as 1.3 volt. So this you can see in the CRO. As well as you can draw the transfer characteristic. So if you take the transfer characteristics, this is the V in and this is the V out. So this is 0.3 volt peak to peak. So input should come here. So 0.3, 0.3. 0.3 volt peak to peak means 0.3 by 2 around you will get uh, point so this will be minus 0.15 this will be plus 0.15 positive side it is 0 so negative side you should get 1.4 volt so it will be the transfer character should look like this. So we can see and observe it in the CRO now. So you can see the connection. So connection. So keep this signal generator to 1 kilohertz. Around 1 kilohertz. So observe this. Input should be in AC. And output should be in DC. So 1, 2, 3. 3 into 0.1 will give you 0.3 volt peak to peak input and output now if I measure put it to ground and mesh keep it to the middle put it to DC so you are getting around 1 so it is 1.4 volt so now if you want to measure the transfer characteristics how we have to do is make both the channels to ground bring it to the middle that is your ground line, center line, adjust the position. Now you have the time division knob here. So rotate this knob to anti-clockwise direction. So at some particular point you get a dot. So that you bring it to the middle and adjust it. Now put again input to DC. Now put to DC. So you can see the transfer characteristics. So this is 0.15. This will be minus 0.15. And this you can measure, so it is around, it is correctly that is 1.4. So this is how you measure the transfer characteristics. So after you measure the transfer characteristics, note down the values of both. One is through the transfer characteristics, other is through the waveform. So this is the experiment which will give you the output of a precision rectifier. That is, for this is for half wave rectifier. So, where this precision rectifier used is in case of your instrument circuit or in case of a power supply circuit. So, this is how you are going to measure it. Thank you.